I'm Alex, and I'm an accidental philosopher. This is San Francisco, guys. Despite me saying I'm not gonna be working on my vacation, I just couldn't step away from the camera. So without further ado, what comes to my mind? Well, friendship, of course. An interesting saying struck me when I was a kid. An interesting saying by a good friend of mine, Sean Cusick. Friends are 80% location. This really got me thinking, because a good friend of mine, Dustin, and I have been friends since little kids, and he said when we go to college, things could change. Got me thinking. I refuse to not be friends with him. You know, I will do anything I can to be friends with him. Sure enough, time progresses and friendships wax and wane. Get to the end of the story, we are still friends, so no problem there. But it really got me thinking about friendship. More importantly, take everything you do in the analog world and just speed it up online. Networking, making friends, reading, web surfing, love interests, or dating, recording. That idea of what makes friendship possible. Did you see with the power of the internet and Twitter and Facebook, we have the ability to reach out and connect with an interesting group of people. So especially here in San Francisco, where my goal was to reach out and contact all sorts of new people and ask them for their Twitter accounts, does that all of a sudden make me a newfound friend? Now I know I have met a bunch of you online and I keep a good conversation going with people. And I can uh, name off a whole bunch of names and lists and, and hopefully you guys can contact with me and I can't thank you enough. But at what point does it start to get weird? I know. Personally, I've been very interested in Google Plus Hangouts. Google Plus Hangouts provide us with the opportunity to connect in a really unique way. I mean, think about it. At one point, our great-grandparents had to connect via phone. Via phone, folks. No physical interaction as far as just voice communication. Now, I understand that's very powerful to a lot of people talking to one another, but the thing is, there's a lot of elements lacking. Could you imagine building a relationship with just writing letters? There have been empires forged upon the transferring and shipping of letters. So it really got me thinking, at what point does something become weird? Because let's put it like this, I guess, you know, our parents would be more satisfied if we met someone at a coffee shop or perhaps even a grocery store. Maybe you're in the Kama Sutra section of the bookstore and you bump into a lovely lady and you ask for a number. Is that weird? Or is meeting someone on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or any of these other social networks we have available? Is that weird? Well, anyway, friendships can be forged and interests can be shared and you can actually realize, you know, people all have interests and the pipeline of communication that you meet one another can definitely change, but does that matter? Simply ask this for a lot of different reasons because at what point do you unfriend someone from Facebook? Everyone needs a way out. Nothing is forever. I think having something not permanent is the way human life should be. I am very interested in what you guys have to say as my newfound internet friends, but most importantly, I don't know if it's a lot of things people ask. Most importantly, I don't know if it's a lot of things people ask themselves. So as I, as I stand here in the hilly city of San Francisco, I beg the question, what is friendship? Obviously, I gotta fulfill our DOS energy agreement, so why wait any longer for the world to begin? I'm Alex, and I'm an accidental philosopher.